And during this short five minute video, I'm going to be discussing digital literacy and I'll be focusing on teaching, learning and self-development. One of the first definitions of digital literacy was created by Gilster in 1997. However, as Health Education England found out in their 2016 literature review, there are actually over 40 definitions. So for this presentation, I'll be using the definition from Health Education England, which is capabilities that fit someone living, working, participating and thriving in a digital society. I'll be using this definition as it relates to my practice and it has been widely adopted across the health sector. So what is my practice? Well, I'm a lecturer on the BSc Radiography Undergraduate Programme and I teach across all year groups. At the end of the programme, students will become registered with the HCPC and will become qualified radiographers, most of which will join the NHS. So how does digital literacy relate to my practice? As a lecturer, my teaching will be contributing towards the future radiography workforce. I will therefore be discussing digital literacy from the perspective of a student. My rationale? Well, firstly, not only has there been a number of recent publications on digital literacy, but there's also been a number of drivers from the university level to support the digital literacy of students who will become future employees. As you can see from this spider chart, not only have there been some recent publications, but there have also been some recent initiatives, such as the Building a Digital Ready Workforce Programme. This was set up by NHS Digital, the Department of Health and the National Information Board. All of these promote and aim to build upon the digital literacy of radiographers. However, as Kennedy 2017 suggests, digital literacy can improve employability, a metric that is linked to City University of London's vision and strategy. Students have needs and expectations, and these can often be linked to a university's vision. For example, a university has a responsibility to equip students for their employability. This digital literacy framework by Health Education England builds upon the work of JISC and as you can see there are six domains. Today I'll be focusing on the second domain which is teaching, learning and self-development as I believe my principal aim as a lecturer is to facilitate learning. It also relates well to radiography because students will often be exposed to teaching, learning and self-development during their three-year programme. But after the programme, they will also ex be exposed to these three elements as a qualified radiographer. Here is a table which I've created using information from the 2018 HEE framework. The second domain has been split up into five sections, A, B, C, D and E. Although these are steered more towards a qualified radiographer, it's important that we help students build upon their digital literacies so they become able by the end of year three. Although undergraduate students are often seen as learners, they also have opportunities to teach, such as during peer-to-peer -peer activities in the classroom and during their clinical placement. An example of using digital technology and tools for personal development could be engaging in virtual learning environments, such as Moodle as a student. This will help familiarise them with virtual learning environments such as those used after qualification. The National eLearning for Healthcare Hub, which is arguably the largest virtual learning environment, is a good resource for a qualified radiographer and currently it has over 210 CPD or continuing professional development resources. Although there isn't a one-size-fits-all teaching approach as people learn differently, According to Mayers and Fowler 2006, e-learning can lend to better learning as it can incorporate multimedia to support teaching and explanation. Many professional services are also moving online. For example, the Society and College of Radiographers Digital CPD portfolio, which is called CPD Now. This is exclusively online. Having the ability to use this technology and thus the portfolio can allow one to reflect on their clinical practice 
As Moon 2000 suggests, reflection can improve learning and practice. Engaging students with innovative digital technologies during their learning can also help one demonstrate a positive attitude with digital technology. According to the Health Education England 2018, having the ability to meet these domains can help practitioners provide the best possible care to patients. Here are some of my references. Thank you for watching.